నేనే ఆఫ్ చేసుకో నేను ఇక్కడ ఆఫ్ చేసుకో కొంచెం లెవెల్ తగ్గించేయండి చెక్ చెక్ యా ఓకే మానిటర్లో ఉంచండి కొంచెం ఉంచండి చెక్ చెక్ యా ఓకే ఫైన్ జై గురుదత్త జై గురు హనుమాన్ ఆన్ బిహాఫ్ ఆఫ్ కార్యసిద్ధి హనుమాన్ టెంపుల్ ఐ వెల్కమ్ యూ ఆల్ టు దిస్ ఈవినింగ్ నాద సేవా ప్రోగ్రామ్ టుడే బీయింగ్ థర్స్డే అండ్ వన్ ఆఫ్ ది ఆస్పీషియస్ గణేష్ నవరాత్రి డేస్ లెట్ ఇస్ బిగిన్ ద ప్రోగ్రామ్ విత్ ఎ ప్రేయర్ గణపతి గురు మేకం సచ్చిదానంద రూపం విభుధ నివహ సేవ్యం యోగ మార్గాధిరూఢం శరణముపగతాం ఆర్తి సంగ్రాధి సంగాధ్రి వజ్రం మమ హృదయ నివాసం భక్తి నమ్రో నమామి ఇట్ మీన్స్ గణపతి అండ్ గురు సద్గురు ఆర్ వన్ అండ్ ద సేమ్ హీ ఈస్ సచ్ చిదానంద హీ రిమూవ్స్ అవర్ ఇగ్నోరెన్స్ హీ ఈస్ ద కింగ్ అమాంగ్స్ట్ స్కాలర్స్ అండ్ యోగీస్ హీ ప్రొటెక్ట్స్ దోస్ హూ సీక్ రిఫ్యూజ్ ఇన్ హిమ్ హీ వైప్స్ అవే టియర్స్ ఆఫ్ సాడ్నెస్ అండ్ గివ్స్ టియర్స్ ఆఫ్ జాయ్ he always resides in our hearts it's a great honor to be with maestro vina player shri vadali faninarayan garu here today and introduced him and his team to you all today it is not the first time that shri faninarayan garu is doing his nada seva to lord hanuman in this temple he was here in 2019 and also during september 2019 when swami ji was here during sri chakra puja he also offered his nada seva in 2019 september and i remember he also did his nada seva in hyderabad ashram dundigal ashram back in 2016 during ugadi celebrations he also had a great honor to render his nada seva in the reno- renovated nada mandapam during the recent 80th birthday celebrations of puja sri swami ji and it was on the very first day he celebra- he offered his uh, nada seva congratulations sir <laughs> shri faninarayana vadali garu was born and brought up in kakinada andhra pradesh he is the seventh generation veena vidwan from his family his first exposure to music came through his parents who were music teachers and later got attracted towards music as he listened to them at home he received a diploma in carnatic music at a very young age and was a busy vocalist at his teenage his inspiration to choose veena came from watching a live program of shri pudukottai krishnamurthy who is a veena maestro at surya kala mandapam in kakinada however the switch to full time veena player happened when fanni narayana garu applied for vocal audition to all india radio in the year 2000 one of his relatives in ar advised him to take up veena saying that there are so many people who take up vocal but there is a depth of talent in veena that's how he shifted to full time veena player <laughs> shri fanni narayan garu created his own distinctive style and identity in carnatic music he is popularly known to produce the songs and compositions in an almost vocal like tonal quality on his veena he provided veena music for well over 250 movies in south indian movie industry one of his recent contrib- contribution was for movie mahanati apart from his success in film industry 
His commitment to classical music and spirituality is demonstrated by the various projects he did for TTD, and he has organized and led 2,000 Veena artists for an Adotsavam at Guru Sri Ram Ravi Shankarji's The Art of Living Ashram in Bangalore back in 2016. He has directed music over for over 125 devotional albums and played Veena for more than 2,000 albums. Fani Narayanagaru recently released his own masterpiece album, Vainikam, consisting of popular Annamaya Kirtanas under his fusion band named String Wings. Let us all welcome Sri Fani Narayanagaru with a big round of applause. We have Sri Ramakrishna Nethikaru today to accompany Sri Fani Narayanagaru Anmurdangam. Ramakrishna Garu hails from a family of musicians and is a well-known Mridangam Vidwan and teacher in Dallas area. He is a disciple of Mridangam Maestro Padma Shri Dr. Ella Venkateshwar Rao Garu and is mentored by Vidwan Shri Bombay C. N. Balaji. His uncle, late Shri Neti Shri Rama Sharma, was a top grade voco violinist at AIR Hyderabad. His elder sister, Srimati Indira Kameshwar Rao, is a top grade vocalist at AIR Vishakapatnam. Ramakrishna Garu has performed in various Sangeeta Sabhas in India and North America. He has also learned Hindustani vocal music. Let's all welcome Sri Ramakrishna Garu for today's program. <laughs> we also have Sri Srinivas Iyuni Garu, who would be supporting the concert today on Tabla. He is a seasoned artist in AIR and Doordarshan for the last 20 years. He has participated in various reality and live shows such as Padita Tiga and in local Telugu association programs. He has been teaching tabla and has been part of Tollywood film industry playing for movie orchestras and has accompanied many notable artists for the last 20 years. Let's all welcome Srinivas Karu. I humbly request the artist to begin the Sangeeta Seva. Jai Gurudatta. Jai Gurudatta. It's my privilege to be here today in this divine place of Dallas and in front of you all of Sangeeta Rasikas like you and it's my extra privilege to have a great personality here today Sai Garu here Chittababu Garu son thank you so much for coming sir I'm honored to see you today here. <laughs> Your father is the inspiration for all Veena players. Uh, we proudly say that. My family is very lucky to be associated with Chittubab Garu for a long time. My grandfather and Chittubab Garu are very close friends. And Nanagaru and Nanagaru and Chinanagaru, they are the, all uh, very near to Chitwap Garu. In that way, we are blessed to be associated with him. Let's start our concert. Luckily, this is Ganapati Navaratris. Adi Maroka Drishto. Iwali in Adamandapanlo. Akada Apaji Garnaku, Okaukas Vicharu. Nadamandapanlo first to Madanto to Praraminje, Adrishto Magdakindi, Maligan Patna Ratu Likami and Redrugunda.
One of the very beautiful composition of Tyagraja Swami. Yavari valla dagune varnimpa yenta mudho yenta sogaso. Yenta varalaina.
ಇನ್ನು ನಲದರ್ ಕೀರ್ತನ ತ್ಯಾಗರಾಜ ಆಫ್ ಕೋರ್ಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಪ್ರೆಮಿಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ರೆಮಿಸಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಓನ್ ಪೇರೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಶ್ರೀರಾಮುಡು ಮಾಕುತಂಡ್ರೆ ಸೀತಮ್ಮ ಮಾಯಮ್ಮ ವಾತಾತ್ಮಜ ಸೌಮೇತ್ರಿ ವೈನತೆಯ ರಿಪುಮಧನ ಧಾತ ಭರತ ದುಲು ಸೋದರುಲು ಮಾಕು ಓಮನ ಸೀತ
Some compositions are not required any announcements for that, so that for some items I am not going to announce, so you can all enjoy without any dispenses. In one more Kruti, Yagaraja asking Rama, I want a job. Usually, we all like to be in a good position like managers or CEOs or more than that. But nobody will like to have like a servant, right? But here, in opposite way, Tyagara is asking, I want a servant post. What kind of again that is Tunta vinti vani modalina madadula nilla kola jesi netti nijabanturi ti kolu madadula nilla kola jesi netti nijabanturi ti kolu లౌకిక స్థితిని కోరుకునే ఒక నిజమైన భక్తుడికి బంటు స్థానం కాక మరి ఏం బాగుంటుంది చెప్పండి భగవంతుడి దగ్గర సర్వెంట్ ఒక్కటే కదా దేవుడికి దగ్గరగా ఉండగలిగి అన్నీ చేయగలిగేది అందువల్ల ఆయన తెలివిగా
निगमच सुधा गान विलक्षण सुधा गान विलक्षण निगम सुधामय गान विलक्षण गुणशील दयालवाल Thank you. 
Thank you. 
I would like to thank this temple people and Apaji for giving this opportunity and thanks Srinivas Garu and Ramakrishna Garu for their great contribution towards to this music and I am going to conclude this evening's concert with a wonderful and beautiful composition of Hero of our Veena, Great Chet Babu Garu. So, there are so many requests I received today to play some wedding bells or temple bells of Chet Babu Garu. So, I feel proud and privileged to play in front of Sai Garu. <laughs> He's the witness of him. Before that, just I want to play that signature of Chitwabugar also.
I'm sure we never ever match the melody or sound of that great man. Still we are trying to follow and try to reach at least 10% of his sweetness.
Wow. Give them another big round of applause. I think they all deserve to be standing and, you know, applauding. Yes. We are completely drenched in the divine music this evening. What more do we want? His sonorous and mellifluous concert. Thank you, Fani Narayan Garu. Uh, what more can we ask uh, on this auspicious on uh, Ganesh Navaratri Utsav, and then on, Gur on Thursday, Guru Day, singing divine music on Rama, our Nadanjaneya is dancing, I can see that. All, don't we agree with that? <laughs> and all of them, they have done a fabulous job. <laughs> Please be seated, I request Srimati Vishala Avadhanam Garu, she is the director of Sri Rama Music Academy. One more, all, everything is it's surrounded with Rama and Rama Namam today. And we are very fortunate to have her and there are so many musicians uh, today, this evening. I request her to say a few words before we invite uh, our guest of honor, uh, Sri Sai uh, Chalapalli Garu. Please come, uh, Vishala Garu. Jai Guru Datta, Sri Guru Pyo Namaha. Namaste to the Saraswati Murthis present on the stage, sir. My humble salutations to you. 
What a mesmerizing concert. What a melivisto. The generally the word is no words to speak, but still. The Veena itself spoke to us, right? So it's our minimum duty to do, express ourselves. So uh, my Pedaguru Garu Sri Kupa Vishwaprati Shastri Garu is a Vaidika himself. He's a disciple of Sri Vata Krishnamurti Garu. So uh, from the childhood, uh, when we were learning music, he used to always teach on the Veena and try us to uh, understand what is the Swara, uh, what is the song or something like that. So it was always uh, the association with Veena. I am a great fan of you, sir. So I have been watching your concerts from the uh, filmy side as well as from the Carnatic side. So when uh, last year I listened to the Pahadi Tilana by Maladi Ravigaru, so it was my dream to meet you in person and listen to you. So I'm really, really, really <laughs> thankful to Lord Hanuman and uh, KSHT for making the dream come true to me. So I really, really, I'm thankful to you and thankful to the organizers here. So it's a great privilege to listen to you in person. And then uh, the songs you played for us today, starting from the Mahaganapatim, and then the second one, my favorite, Bindu Malini, Yenta Muddo, Yenta Sagaso. Isn't it his Veena Vadana is like that? And the next one uh, that touched, uh, everything is like, uh, uh, it's a flow. I can't uh, pinpoint like this is good, this is not, so it's not like that. The words, uh, the style he's rendering is like, it's all, he's starting from the Pallavi, the cream of the song that will directly touch the hearts. So that, that is really, uh, and I, uh, Ramakrishna Garu gave me, uh, just suggested me to do the Thalam. So it was like, uh, oh my God, do I really keep up the talam? <laughs> I'm losing myself many times to the melody and the bhava he's presenting today. So that is really, really great, sir. That is really uh, touching the heart. So our Veena not only spoke to us, to our minds, it gave a lot of, we know them, and also the uh, entertainment, not only to the entertainment of the mind, but it really spoke to the hearts carrying the mighty bhava that Tyagaraja Swami and all the composers they really uh, installed in that composition. So it really reached us. And then uh, my, your Veena Vadana is like Enta Muddo Enta Sogaso, Muddugare Eshoda, and finally it is like Samaja Varagamana. And then it, all, it reached our hearts and fulfilled our hearts today. And then one more thing you played is like Banturu Tikulu Rama. Since we are one with the Nada, the Nada Swarupa today with your Veena Vadana, I think Lord blessed us the Bantri Tikolu for all of us. Thank you, sir. Thank you. And Ramakrishna Garu, please give him a big round of applause. Today, the Mridangam not only talked to the Veena, but it also talked to our hearts. It's, it's so mesmerizing, sir. It's so mesmerizing. And then uh, last time when I listened to Rajeshwari Garu's Veena, uh, it was like uh, Sriji Puvlur, he was, uh, Sriji Garu was p playing and then we all talked about the dynamics of the accompaniment. Vina is such a subtle instrument where nobody can overpower it. But at the same time, we have to give the able guidance, highlighting the Vina. So you did uh, more than, I, my words cannot uh, express sir. It was very, very, very heart touching. I enjoy playing for Vina. Oh, sorry, I played for Yegar uh, Shamasundran Garu. New Jersey, and his wife is also a Vainika. She said, it's not easy to play for Veena, because it's so mel soft. And, and at one point, you know, he also told me, hey, you have to stop doing that. I said, really? <laughs> because I'm already soft. <laughs> so anyway, uh, with due respect. So I would have never met up. So Ramakrishnagari, Veena Kela Vain Chalo Ala Vaish Tarayana. Not to pat my own back. No, 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 it's absolutely true, sir. So it, it speaks to our hearts. Thankful to you. And Srinivas Garu, awesome, awesome job, sir. So the tabla also spoke to us and also to the Bridangam. Tabla has to speak to the Bridangam because there is a lot of coordination going on. And then they both have to observe and then accompany very subtly to the Veena Maestro. So it, it's really, it's really uh, Ganesh Navaratri filled with a lot of uh, spiritual uh, significance with all these wonderful compositions and in live we all almost transmitted to the next world. Thank you so much, Jai Guru Dutta.
Thank you, Vishala Garu. Uh, what more do we want? Vanarai uh, Garu took us to somewhere, you know, where we, we all went to uh, Chitti Babu Garu's uh, Veena Vadana. And today we are so fortunate and so blessed to have his, the legend, the maestro's son in our uh, uh, audience. And I request Sri Sai Chalapalli Garu to come and honor the artist and say a few words. And uh, uh, to mention uh, his brother, I came to know just now that he is in Dallas. So his brother Sundar uh, Babu Garu has uh, done many projects with Parma Puja Sri Swamiji. And recently, Sri Swamiji's uh, birthday celebrations, 80th birthday, we have Kirtana Chandrika album that is released. Swamiji has uh, mentioned about it. Uh, every center has sung. And in Dallas, we all sang. Almost 150 people sang all the 80 bhajans. It's in a mel melody, uh, medley. And even uh, Mysore has performed. And Swamiji is really happy about it. And we are very thankful and grateful to Sundar Babugaru as well. And thank you, sir, for coming here. And uh, please say a few words before we honor the artist. Thank you. Thank you. Namaste. Sabak namaskaram. Good evening, everybody. I won't make a lengthy speech. It's Thursday evening, and tomorrow is a working day. But I'll, I do want to say a few things. Thanks for the opportunity. Tony, it was fantastic. Uh, and uh, thank you for letting me know and inviting me. It's my honor to be here to in front of all of you and uh, be a part of this musical evening. The accompanists were great as well. Thank you so much. I do, I do want to say a few things. Um, uh, I'll keep this in English. There may be a mixed audience as well. So <laughs> um, his father uh, and his uncle, Subramaniam, they both played in my father's uh, magnum opus by HMV in 1985, Temple Bells. That uh, They were so some of the veenas. I don't know how old you were then. <laughs> but uh, that is one thing. And uh, Subramaniam also stayed in our house. He, he learned from my father. and. Uh, He's, he's done well for himself as well. He's also changed the melam for my father's veena. My father will never allow him anyone to touch his veena. <laughs> but uh, Subramaniam, Subramaniam uh, had that uh, thing. And uh, very nice of you to say all the kind and sincere words about my father. Uh, it's been probably 26 years since he went, but his music stays with us. And uh, uh, it's, uh, you know, I. I, I do want to say one more thing. Um, in 1991, um, prior to that three, four years, Mysore Ashram had asked my father to perform in Mysore. Uh, dates weren't free. Some three, four years it kept going. Uh, he didn't play. In 91, he played in Mysore, in uh, Swamiji's uh, Mysore Ashram. It was a morning concert. Um, some three, four thousand people outdoor. It was an outdoor concert. And he had that big audience there. And uh, as you know, most of his concert, he, he plays classical. It's towards the end that he plays come September or Wedding Bells or Chinnan Chirikaliye. Or of course, nobody will allow him to get off the stage without a Komala Koila. You know? <laughs> uh, but he used to always say, uh, some people used to criticize that, but he used to say, I do this to show the adaptability and versatility of this divine instrument, the chosen instrument of Goddess Saraswati. <laughs> so that's the, he didn't care a damn about the criticism because he could play Todi for two hours. That's not a problem for him. <laughs> I've seen, I've been Karnataka concerts, four hours is the minimum. <laughs> so mm -hmm. the point I wanted to say about that particular concert, by the way, he used to say Ku three times. Three, because three sons. <laughs> he used to say. And then, just for fun, sometimes he'll, he'll play. In the end, you might have noticed. He'll do that. <laughs> like, he'll, he'll, st he'll not play. He'll just do that. And just for fun, to have fun with the audience, he'll say the coil flew away. And then he'll, <laughs> towards the end, when he plays the Pallavi again, he'll do that. You will not believe what happened that day. When he paused, it was an outdoor concert. A real cuckoo sang cuckoo there. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Not cuckoo was silent for three hours. This was towards the end of the concert. And uh, it, 
not even in the middle of that song, when he paused to do that gimmick a little bit just to have fun with the audience, he paused. And the real cuckoo said, Coo. Do you have so a recording of that? No. <laughs> so those days there were no phone. cell phones and all that. So it electrified all the 3,000 people there. And Swamiji immediately stopped the thing there. He came and then felicitated and he said, Shishirveti Pashirveti Veti Ganarasampani. This is the divine power of music and Chitti Babu's music. <laughs> and, uh, and then he felicitated and then they finished the thing with that thing. I just, it's such a coincidence that uh, today I happened to be here and I wanted to share that uh, nice incident with all of you, <laughs> which just took me back 91, you know. So but uh, yeah, I told you I won't take long. That uh, reminds me of uh, a time when uh, he played for one of my friend's wedding in Davanagere, Karnataka. Huh. So, uh, I went two days in Adwa because he was one of my closest friends. And then the Mardangist was supposed to come from Bangalore. And they, the time, the concert time has started and he didn't arrive. <laughs> then he said, is there any Mardangist here? Then I raised my hand. And as they were you know, trying to get ready to put me on the stage, I was very nervous, but I just said out of sight, <laughs> yes. And then this gentleman arrived. <laughs> so it was just <laughs> one hour, had, it, had he come one hour uh, delayed, I would have had a chance to play for him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And by the way, I have to also say, when your father and uncle played in Temple Bells, I mean, he definitely had a bond with your family from your yes. grandfather's time. Yes. So he, he, for him, the sweetness of touch, the Shruti Shuddham, of course, and supreme thing was bhavam, expression. If that is not there, all the kanaka work is different. It's, all, it's important, shruti, laya, uh, you know, all that is there. But bhavam is what touches hearts, as uh, she was saying. So that was always in abundance in today's concert. And it was, it was nice to see uh, tabla as well uh, gelling so well with it. So thank you so much for this opportunity. I appreciate it. Good night, and I know it's late. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> it is our privilege to have you here. <laughs> Thank you each and everyone. I know today is a weekday. And thank you all for attending. Uh, we have... Uh, a